Hello guys and welcome to XN Gaming Community. I am XN Zabe and I'm here today with Scribble Notes Unlimited. Thank big thanks big thank you to Lifehacks or Seth0841 or 0842. Actually no Seth eight eight no eight zero zero one Jesus I'm mixing my words up today and um, that's his channel so he actually sent me this game. He got it for a few TF2 keys I believe and he gave it away on a giveaway on our um, group page. So if you're not already sure, um, the group page is called The XM Project on Steam. And if you ever want the link to it, I'm pretty sure it should be in the description. If not, send me a PM and I'll send you it and I'll add it to the description. I usually forget because as you know, videos are, lo are uploaded on timed basis. So this video won't be out for, I don't know, a few weeks is when I'm recording this. To prove how long this video takes to get out. The date today, if I can find it, is the 19th of April, 2013, and we will find out when this video does actually go live, and that proves our schedule and how games actually go out on our channel. So Scribble Notes Unlimited, basically you draw stuff and you play around. It's got Steam Workshop support, I think, and it's not got very many options, you've got options and there's just controls, you do no idea what any of this does. Credits, you know, the... Developers and all their awesomeness, like him, uh, Jeremiah Salakasa, and him. Uh, yes, let's just skip the credits. So, options you've got your sound effects, music, brightness, and gamma. Um, to, pr to tr brightness up top looks bad. Gamma up the top with brightness up the top looks bad. TV breaking stuff like that. Uh, music down the bottom, because as you know, we cannot record copyrighted music. I don't know if this music's copyrighted or anything like that. So, uh, let's just start. Let's see what, what this game is about. Our story begins with Grandpa Edgar Grandpa and Grandma Edgar. Julie. You might not believe this, but Grandpa Edgar used to be the world's greatest adventurer. Grandma Julie would beg to differ. She was also an adventurer. Edgar would often brush away vines or open doors thought to be undisturbed for generations, only to find Julie was already there, having lunch. They competed like this on adventure after adventure. On one adventure, Julie beat Edgar to the top of a long-lost pyramid. But the treasure she found was an engagement ring. The two of them semi-retired to start a family, and they continued starting that family until they had 42 children. One day, Mom and Dad gave Maxwell and me two amazing gifts. The first was a magic globe that let you travel anywhere in the world. The second was the most amazing notebook. This notebook let you write any word in it, and poof! The word would come to life. Well, the story's been riveting so far. So, but that someone came in. So, it'd be a corporate port. So, it was, it was not my fault. Oh, okay, good. Some stuff going on. worried about us turning out to be spoiled little brats. A spoiled so brats. they sent us out Damn to it. face the challenges of the outside world. Oh, is that? It? On the road to the city, we ran into an old man who old said man. he was hungry. He was hungry. Damn it. Maxwell some made something to give him. But he played a nasty trick. The apple was rotten. Oh, the old man spat it out as soon as Terrible. he tasted it and was very, Terrible. very angry. As he cast some sort of magic, he called us spoiled little kids and then disappeared. It didn't seem like anything had happened. Damn it. But when Maxwell turned to continue down the it's road, I couldn't all. follow him. The old man had put a curse on me that was turning me to stone. We oh didn't God. know what to do. Luckily, our brother Edwin's farm was nearby. Boy, you should have seen how angry Edwin was. He couldn't believe what we did to the old man and said we probably deserved what we got. Well, that's not very nice. For us, Edwin knew about starites. Starites no are magical objects born out of the happiness of others. When you do enough things to make others happy, you will find Starite. Hopefully, if Maxwell used the notebook's power for good, good. Not good. he could collect enough Starite to remove the curse. 
Yay. Maxwell said. That's it. I'm gonna go out and do good things for all the people I can find. I'm gonna get all the starites in the world, and I'm gonna make you better, Lily. So Maxwell grabbed his notebook and headed for the door. Well, this is us. We look spectacular as ever, oh God.